Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And today, I have tried out the new temporary battle type in-game, which is Asymmetric Battles. So, Asymmetric Battles, this isn't the first time that this mode has shown up in-game. We've had it a couple of times beforehand, and it didn't exactly go overwhelmingly well. Uh, the first couple of iterations, it was PvP, where you had players on one side in Tier 10 and Tier 9 ships, players on the other side on I think it went like tier 8 to tier 6 ships or something like that. The idea is that you have one team that has a very small number of players but they're in high tier ships, tier 10s and tier 9s, but then you have a large number of players in lower tier ships. And well I mean you can imagine that most players of course want to be in the higher tier ships so of course a lot of people are queuing up for those, and not a whole lot of players are queuing up for the lower tier ships. And the first iteration didn't really go that well. The second iteration was more of the same, um, except they did allow bots to start filling in the slots in the lower tier ship side, which bots back then weren't that fantastic. Uh, there's been a lot of improvements to the AI. And this iteration of asymmetric battles does bring even more improvements to the ship's AI, to, to, to the bot's ship's AI. And that is pretty evident. Uh, we will be talking about that in a moment. They did also have a mechanic where you had to play so many battles in a lower tier ship to then enter battle in a higher tier ship. Although, me personally, I probably wouldn't mind being on the lower tier ship side because I get the better economy doing damage to the higher tier ship. So, yeah. But anyway, this go-round, Asymmetric Battles is back, and they've improved the AI of the bots a, quite, quite a bit. Now, you might look at some of the gameplay footage in the background and go, they still look pretty dumb. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. But the way the ships, the bot ships move, you can tell there's been some improvement. Quite, quite a bit of improvement for that. Now, this could of course be them testing the new AI that they're about to introduce into co-op and, and lower tier battles. This is also another argument that players like to say the game is dying bring up saying, hey look, they have to test the new bot AI because there's a dying off of the player base. Whatever you believe the mode is here. And it's fun. It is a lot of fun to play in. Uh, especially if you if you're a fan of brawling, you, you got a GK or a Schlieffen that you like to play. Oh boy, is this the mode for you? So how does it work? So there is a team of five real life players that can take tier nine and tier ten ships into battle. There could be one CV and one submarine, but that's it. And there has to be some combination of no more than three battleships, three cruisers, and three destroyers. Uh, most of what I've been seeing is like three battleships, a cruiser, and a DD, or three battleships and two cruisers. I did have a couple of games where we did have a CV on our side. Haven't seen too many player submarines at all in this mode. Seen quite a few bot submarines in this mode, but not a lot of player submarines. Submarines are, I mean, you really do need a ship that you can kind of at least take a couple of hits in in this mode, and submarines are very much not that. For the bot side, the bot side are made up of tier 8 and tier 7 ships, so this would be like getting triple up tiered if you were one of the tier 7 bots, and there's 12 of them on the other side, so they have more than double the amount of ships that you have on the bot side. Uh, they can have one CV and one sub, four to five battleships and cruisers each, and two to three destroyers. Most of the games that I've been seeing, matchmaking puts a lot of battleships on the bots team, which I'm fine with. It's more damage for me to, to farm. So, the AI this go-around, what have they tweaked on the AI? Well, according to Wargaming, the AI will take up more advantageous positions, rush into close combat less often, and distribute themselves more effectively around key areas. I've definitely seen that last bit to where you actually have the bots go to like the outer caps. If you've been a player of co-op, you know that bots for a very long time, they just slapped W and went straight forward, which means that most of the time they wound it up in like the, the, the center cap if you're on domination, or um, they tend to ignore any cap that isn't, of course, right in front of them. But they're actually going to the caps in this mode, which is interesting. Also, they're flanking a lot more. They're taking the long way around the map 
They're not just going straight down the middle and unga boogieing. They're also not straight up going into drive-bys anymore. There's a couple of situations that I ran into where the bot ship does actually turn around and attempts to kite, which is pretty interesting. Uh, which also means that since these are bots that are going toward the caps, they're flanking and they're kiting and not just unga boogieing, they're actually probably better than <laughs> about 20% of the player base, which is really interesting. So there is that. So the AI is definitely a bit better. It's not going to be a straight up, you know, drive by like you see in co-op matches of old, but there is still a lot of close quarters engagement because, well, they are still bots and despite them saying they don't go into close quarters as much, they still do. You can easily tap W and have a great time in uh, asymmetrical battles, which is what I've been doing. I've been taking GK out and man, I'm having just a blast punching these bots in the face and uh, getting quite a bit of profit too. Now, because this is, well, there's two things about the economy. One, they did tone it down a bit. They say that the rewards are higher in terms of XP and credits in compared to co-op, but they're not quite there with random battles. So, I, I definitely noticed that. I'm easily doing like 200 and something thousand damage, sometimes easily 300 thousand damage in this mode, which would net you, you know, like probably close to 2 million credits in the GK in uh, random battles, but I'm only making like 1.3, 1.4, which don't get me wrong, that's still a lot of credits. And I'm running uh, usually the, the green or the blue economic boosters. That's still a quite a tiny bit of credits to be earning in a special ship like the GK with the special economy. So this is a mode that if you have a good brawler like the GK or the Schlieffen and you need some credits, yeah, you know, go ahead, slap your favorite economic booster on your ship. This is the, this is the time to, to use it. Now, another thing too is that you do have to get quite a bit of damage in in order to see these uh, more profitable rounds because you are a top tier ship doing damage to lower tier ships so you don't get the booster that the lower tier ships normally get when they do damage to the top tier ships but again given the fact that you are you know one of five ships there's 12 ships to shoot at you're gonna have something that you can do damage to during this dur uh, during this mode so it's a lot of fun it's if you like brawling you like close quarters combat it's good fun the bots make it a bit more interesting because again you're not just going in and unga booging and you know murdering five bots in a row what's interesting too is that these games actually didn't last for quite a bit of time if you've played co-op you know that the matches end in like three or four minutes faster than random battles i know it's it's somehow possible at least old co-op i'm not sure i don't think that this ai has been implemented into co-op just yet but i believe that's what they're testing you know for co-op and for the uh the lower tier matches but yeah um definitely the the games are lasting for a significant amount of time um i think i may only have to throw one one and a half matches up in the background for this video for y'all because of that which is better than some random battles today. But yeah, it's not like the, the bots just going in and dying in, in one second. I, I have noticed that they are kind of doing what the players do, and they are clumping up and staying together in typically a big group. Uh, what I've seen happen the most, and in the, the battle you're probably watching the background, it happened the least in that one, in the standard battle, where you have, you know, maybe two or three ships that go to the outer caps but then you have the main bulk that do go to the center cap i'm not sure if it's because they spawn there and the ai says uh, says hey look there's the cap in front of us we're going to go to go to that cap and then the two or three ships that spawn on either flank go hey look there's a cap in front of us we're going to go to that cap and that's how that works or what but on the domination modes that is what i'm noticing they do typically just all kind of death ball into the center which does actually lead to them usually killing a, a live player or two per round which is pretty interesting um but yeah in the standard battle mode as you guys saw they actually again you know they went on the flank a couple of ships tried to take the long way around but there was a decent bit of ships that did stay in the middle which i mean typically in standard battle yeah that's kind of what you want to do because you don't want the enemy team to just kind of waltz down the middle and one of the bots even went for our friggin cap which is interesting to see which again makes them better than like 40 percent 
of the player base. But it's a it's a fun mode if you got a, a brawling ship that you like to play. If you want to see what's going to potentially be coming to the game in the lower tier modes, because um, I'm sorry, in the lower tier matches, because these bots do fill up uh, tier five and below games now because most people play at higher tier. This is probably what's going to be coming to those lower tier games now. If if you want to get a uh, a heads up and a preview of that but yeah it's a fun mode um it is a temporary battle type it's going to be around for the entirety of this update again if you've got a great brawler schlieffen uh gk secondary build Preussen, a palmer yeah go to this mode and you will have no credit problems for the duration of this update i don't think they're going to change the credit income or anything like that i know you are earning less than random battles base but if you have the boosters and you have a ship they can put in the damage you'll easily make a million credits plus around easily so at least from what i've seen here uh playing it for today but anyway guys let me know what you guys think about asymmetric battles in the comments down below if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like leave a comment subscribe to the channel one way to 50,000 subscribers and i cannot thank you guys enough for that hope you guys have a great friday i will be live streaming right here on the channel and on Twitch around 5 p.m. U.S. Central Time, so make sure to come out for that. Hope you guys have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.